Hey guys, it's Andy from Liquid Design back with some more marketing tips to help you build a profitable audience. Today we're talking about social images. And if you don't have the budget for a design crew or somebody to kind of help you in this department, I have two resources that are amazing. They're super intuitive and um, you can use them for a lot of different things that'll kind of help you along the way. Um, with your website even. So let's jump right in. The first one I have up is Pablo by Buffer. So Buffer is a um, social media scheduler. Um, you can upload and access all of your social accounts and then you can kind of customize and schedule posts for each of those accounts. Um, so what's cool about Buffer, or Pablo by Buffer, is that if you create an image, you can um, come over here to share and download. So you can just download the image if you wanna um, share it a different way or use it for a different purpose. Or you can directly open up in your um, buffer and uh, customize it for sharing that way, which is kind of cool. So um, Pablo, one of the main benefits of this is all of the free stock images over here. So let's search for, um, I don't know, let's just be generic, we'll just say, um, shopping and it'll show you these free images that you can use for your um, that's kind of funny for your um, image I guess or your graphic and it automatically has a contrast over it so you can add a message if you would like so you just click on body message you can do a header message or a caption at the bottom so you have an opportunity to do um, all of these and then you can change your font over here the boldness italicize the size um, the positioning and even the color um, which is pretty cool so and then this logo here this is our logo and you can have yours uploaded and then you can either hide it if it doesn't call for it um, or you can replace it with another one and then you can set your size for that logo and it's always um, defaults to whatever you had the last time which is really nice so you don't have to do, do double duty or do extra work um, and then over here so you can have different sizes based off of your social media outlet. So Facebook, Twitter size, you have an Instagram size, which is the square, and then we have a Pinterest size, which is a nice long um, portrait uh, position. And let's say, okay, so let's say you go to do um, Instagram and you wanna reposition that photo. Oh, this is just a square here anyways. But you can zoom in, say you don't really like where it's at, and then you can kind of um, move it around. So that's pretty cool. And it's all, again, super easy. Um, if you don't want to have the, um, the, what do I call it, the screen, I guess, over your image, you would just go to none. So this is really cool if your blog or your website doesn't reposition your photos, so they all kind of look odd and um, not consistent, you can use Buffer or Pablo to actually make those consistent for you if you don't know how or you don't have the means to go in and change that yourself. Um, so like, let's say you want your blog images to all be the same size. You can do squares or you can go here and then just save it off. All you have to do is let's just click download and it's gonna download that picture right into my folder. And now I have it available for when I wanna, you know, have a blog post. So that's what's pretty neat about Buffer. Um, it's pretty uh, intuitive too. So, oh, another thing, you have quotes here. So say you wanted to do an inspirational quote, you would just add some body content. Let's put our filter back on so we can do the light contrast or we can even play with like a blur in the background. You can do a heavy blur, um, a light blur. So let's do that. And then you can add a quote. So it just kind of has these cool little um, famous quotes that, I mean, if you have an inspirational brand or you like this kind of thing, it's fun. And then of course you can change it. So if you wanna do um, your own quote or if you have a tip that you wanna share, it's a great way to do that, personalize it. And you can upload your own images into um, Pablo as well. So you can customize it even further. So Pablo's awesome, I love it. It was my first love. And then I found Canva, which I have to admit, I use most of the time. Um, Pablo, I use a lot for blogs, like I said, or um, some basically like quick image touch-ups. Um, 
but this is going to be your um, spot for something a little bit more detailed, a little bit, takes a little bit more time, but it's worth it. Not that much more time. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of different categories here. So what I love is the different social sizes. Um, you can also create different types of media or designs um, based off of whatever you're doing. So like if you have to do a presentation, they have really great um, templates for that. Um, let's see infographics, those are typically going to run pretty expensive if you were to have a professional designer create that, but um, you can kind of do that yourself even with um, some of the pre-templated stuff that they give you. If you run an Etsy shop, they have shop cover ideas. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find, there's the Etsy shop icon. All right, maybe my little screen's in the way of me seeing it, but um We'll click on the social media graphic. Yeah, just to kind of give you some ideas of what they have. So there's going to be different um, templates, different things that you can choose from, and then you just add them over there. I'm gonna move me over here. Ah. Okay, so let's say these have some different you know, they, there was Easter to begin with. There's um, all of these little call to actions. Um, this is kind of cute. Take your dog to work day, that kind of thing. Um, so if you wanted to do something that was a little different, say you wanted to do something like this, but okay, this doesn't apply to you, you don't have an event, you can change this to say whatever you want. So, um, Let's just say we have this like cool guide that you're using to um, nurture or get kind of build your list. So you want to get some downloads here, um, and you're running, you know, an Instagram ad. So you can use this, kind of change this up, you know, the couple cool keywords. And then what I love about Canva is your Let's hopefully like I can do this. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. So there's colors here. So you can change all the colors to match your branding. We have already inputted our brand colors here, but then um, these are the colors that are in the actual document and then you can change it to whatever. So let's say I wanted to brand this to me. I would change all of these. Oh, and you can move these around, which is cool. So you can move and update your colors. Let's go like yellow with these. And um, I just, it makes it so easy. So there you have it. And then you can change it up to whatever you need and you're good to go. And again, I don't know if I said for an ad, but you can't, oh no, no, I was saying for a, a lead magnet. So yeah, for social ads, you want to steer clear of a lot of, um, uh, Burbage because Facebook especially doesn't like that. But say you wanted to change um, the background. So you could, I believe, let's go to uploads. I think I can just drag and drop something. So we'll put this over here. And then, yes, you can arrange it to the back, which is kind of cool. Just keep going back until everything is behind it. And then expand it. And obviously this doesn't look great because I have, you know, words on words here, but you kind of get the idea and you can play around and it's super easy. So, yeah. So those are my two favorite um, places to go if you don't have access to a designer or, a designer or it's not in the budget. Um, this is kind of a cool workaround that you can do yourself and it's really easy to do. So there's no excuses to have ugly images, ugly um uh, graphics out there. We have lots of cool resources now, which is super cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you want me to um, go over something different in the future, just go ahead and go to liquidsdesign.com, click on contact, fill out the form, I'll see it, and I will get back to you or create a video around your suggestion. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.